You came back. Hi, you came back. Can I thank you? No, can I appreciate you in this moment for coming back again? Do you know what it means? It's easy. It's not. But you did it. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming back to Hello Younger Me. If you are new here, you want that kind of greeting. You want me to be greeting and just subscribe. It's not, it's not difficult. You know, you can watch small and see how it goes and decide. But I think I know your decision. I don't want to spoil it. Anyways, welcome back to Hello Younger Me. Okay, so now that we have greeted everybody, let's get into it. You know, today it's been a, this topic has been on my heart for a while. You know, um, because I'm really experiencing it. <laughs> so I'm happy I get to do it today. You know, but something wanted to spoil this day for me. Or back to sender. See me, I woke up in the morning. You know, say today is my day to cook food so that I'll not starve. Yeah, I like food that's already in the fridge. I don't like everyday cooking food. I don't like the food is fresh. You know, it's fresh in the fridge, so you just bring it out, bring it out from the fridge, put it in the microwave. Voila, that's my kind of life, you know. I always cook a lot during the weekends and just put it in the fridge. So today was jumbo fries. I had to put a little shark inside it, <laughs> you know, and vegetables and then um, fish. I'm trying to eat more fish. God is helping me. So that was the plan. Oh, you know, early ish, early, yeah. And was trying to. I finished cutting the veggies. I was vegetables out. See, sometimes I wrap. God is helping me. <laughs> trying to slow down. I finished cutting the vegetables and put them, put them on on the pan to steam. I don't like when the when the vegetables. Joe fries, I don't know, it's different. Like, I don't like this of carrots inside. I like carrots, but I don't like smelly. Anyways, um, so I was steaming the vegetables separate. The power was steaming it first before I cook the rice. I know when you start here, like when it's getting hot. Oh, so I, I turned my back, I was doing something else. I didn't hear that. Like, what was going on? Even when the shaki that was on fire, nothing is boiling, it's just. So I see smoke. Hey God, please Jesus. Smoke coming out from the, you know how when you have this when you have the stove there is where you have the control, the knobs around that area. See me smoke, live smoke coming out from me. That's like smelling, you know that smell when like a fuse has blown. The <clears throat> moon inside my house. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty freaky. Um and then Nothing was working anymore. Like I said, it wasn't getting hot. Like it wasn't heat. Even the oven, though. So okay, maybe I can experiment cooking the java fries inside oven. It's not working. Call them. They said the apartment people said, "Oh, they'll send." They don't really know when they can send somebody. You know, and they don't really work on maintenance. It's on calls. So they don't know when they will be here. I'm like, I don't have food to eat. <laughs> Anyways, that was to spoil my whole day, but. Thank God for God. We move on. So the topic of today, I diverge. The topic of today was, is dealing with imposter syndrome. And I got maybe little three tips. Maybe three tips that are helping me. I'm a work in progress, WIP. So yeah, this is what I'm currently dealing with. And I hope these tips help you too. And especially for those who are newly entering the american workforce or i don't know if this to apply to other countries i think i think it's a human thing so you should so yes background story i was originally on the path to being a medical medical a medical doctor but i switched to it so my first experience in it was with my master's degree so i didn't have an undergrad in it and I was able to get a master's in IT, which is possible, thank God. <laughs> um, but the, the consequence of that is that you don't have a lot of... Because people spend four years, you know, formal learning it. And also, you know, the side, yeah, 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 involved in that world. You know, like, all your social media things are like, 
Yeah, you be, they have to do the IT, mm. what you, your Google history is, I, like, I mean, like, it's like when you're inside a world, mm. it makes a lot of things that, a lot of nuances make sense to you. Like, something that's like, like, so what is this abbreviation? Like, what does this mean? What does this mean in IT? The different slangs they use, I was completely not oblivious to all of them when I first came in, so, yes, that's the consequence of, I don't really have a good background in something and like working in it. It's it's not impossible, it's just get up that get over that hump. And so that's kind of my context, you know, so I'm not kind of really new to this. Um and yeah, you know, you come in and a lot of people have been working here for working at for over 20 years. And when they are talking, they're just like God, oh, did they know that this mean that they employed? Did they make a mistake by accepting me in that interview? They may not have known that this is me. Because even if, even me that you know I did my interview, I had coding, maybe one coding question. I had other um, technical questions. I answered the question. No, I answered this question. You know, and I mean it was a very nervous time, but I did it. You know, and you not enter the job. I used to be questioning you. So like, are they sure that it was me they wanted? Maybe you know, and it, it is, it is, it is. Uh, it amazes me when I do that to myself. And it's like I am the one doing it to myself. The thoughts in my head are, are, are doubting my abilities constantly, right? So that is what imposter syndrome is exactly like. You are taking someone else's place. Like you are not worthy to be in this position you are. And I actually experienced that early on. I think when I was in primary school, I used to always be second every time, second. But then I used to be even even the Uru I'll carry the second, I'll still be dancing that I deserve that second place. I know. It's because I cramped. If they ask me this thing without cramping I'll fail. That that's for people are not Nigerians. Cramming is I think I think it's not even like that word. Cramming is just when you know where you so I, I was coming from a place that because I just used to memorize everything, that's why I passed the exams, right? Not that I actually was able to co- cognitive. I was not that I was able to um, do it by cognitive. What's the cognitive? The cognitive word I'm trying to think. Cog, co- is it cognitive reasoning? Cog, from reasoning though, from reason like being able to deduce. The answers to the questions might just my think and logical thinking. Cognition, I was ah, said there's a cognitive work. Anyways, but um yeah, so and I'm I'm pretty sure I've had this conversation with other people and I've even seen a YouTube video finding doing about imposter syndrome. Um so I know it happens to a lot of people, everyone, right? So um I'm trying to profile what has been helping me, right? Uh the first point is um, attacking those negative words. I found it interesting that we were doing, not interesting, but it was, it came at the perfect time. I was having Bible study with my girls, baby girls, <laughs> and um, we were talking on Second uh, Corinthians chapter 10, um, the verse that says, you have to take captive rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey the obey Christ. Am I am I paraphrasing? Or is it there somewhere? And what we took from that is that using the word of God, using what God has said about you, use it to attack what is not of God in your life. The thoughts are not good in your life. You know, so so I think, oh well, um I start taking on or I start claiming the the um was the word claiming something that I am not or oh, I I don't I am not smart enough to handle this or oh, I'm too scared to lead this meeting among my peers you know I will not be able to figure that out because I'm not my mental capacity cannot handle it you know I'm too slow for that I'm not beautiful enough for that it's because of my appearance that that did not happen for, to me. You know, things like that, you know, why am I always... 
it's a lot. I'm sure it's it is it is um innumerable. Like it just keeps going on and on. So have those thoughts. I find something in the Bible. That's my advice in the Bible that counters that thought. For me, the one I picked was well, one of the ones I picked is Joshua one nine that says, "Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Do not be intimidated." For the Lord your God is with you. The Lord your God is going with you. I know I, I got almost everything in that one. <laughs> that, might not, I, that might not be powerful. I think I've actually got some thoughts on that. Maybe. But yeah, and that teaches me or reminds me to not be afraid. Like fear is something that is a thief. It, it takes even when you know something. This is this is scientific. Even when you know something and you have let that fear get to your head, you forget what you know because of that fear so i'm learning ways to tackle tackle that and i repeat that to myself every day before i start work and i'm seeing progress so there you go second point is hmm, accepting where you are you know and play making a plan for where you are to move forward so okay, you're new to something, you don't feel like you can do it. That's pretty normal. That's normal. People can say that's normal. Like if I need to something, you need to figure it out. Right? But then figure it out. You have to put in the work to figure it out. You know, you can't just it's so tricky to just want to dwell in those feelings of I can't do this. So full stop. No, why don't you try to do it and believe you can do it? You know. Bible says you can do all things. So hold on to that mentality. Let that like change, change your mindset. Not the answer this way they tell you that you can't do it. Tell it's a lie. You know, so whatever phase, whatever aspects you're applying this to, put in the work to move ahead of that. You know, when the thoughts come that oh I can't do it, I can't do it now, but I will be able to do it. I'm a work in progress. It's a matter of time. You know, there's something about putting in the work that reassures yourself. Like, it's like, okay, okay, I can't do it, but I'm trying to do it. It gives you more ginger, you know, you know like more ginger, more motivation to keep going. We are seeing the progress. Like, ah, you know, I heard about this, this, um, when I wasn't able to run, like, run, I was, I was when in college, when I was in college, like running for two minutes, I could almost die. I'm not even lying. I, I I could see my heart pumping. It was terrible. I was terrible at running. And um it got to a point I so I enrolled in a running class, take a cookie for um recommending the, the run that running class with the running instructor. And after like a month, I could not believe what my body could do. I see you. I could not run for at least five minutes and I wasn't dying. And so seeing my progress, I was so ginger to go more in, you know, to put in more efforts. At the end of that class, I could run, this was, I could run point one mile. I'm not even lying. I'm okay, we're not going to be fine. 8.2. <laughs> I could run point two miles without stopping. Um, but at the end of the class, I was able to run over one mile without stopping. That blew my mind. Like, it's the same body that I was born in. That I used to want to die. So, there's something about seeing yourself putting effort that makes it easier. That makes you more ginger to keep going. Third, last point. <sighs> Reach out to those that have gone before you. The elders. Those that you have seen that have tackled this thing. You know, ask them how did you do this? How what are your own? Everyone, everyone deals with things differently, right? So you want to know how they handled theirs, if you can possibly learn from it. Um, I know I asked. Thankfully, my I'm the last born. I'm the baby girl. <laughs> Stop. So I'm the last born. So all my siblings are working. You know, so I was asking. Um. Sometimes also maybe difficult. Maybe it's also a different scenario. I don't know if it's my little clothes. Don't say embarrassing me. My God, fine game, life. 
so that's why I was asking other females about um how they how they were able to cope with it. Like if it's just me, like are there certain things that you did as a female too that helped you be more settled and overcome that imposter syndrome? I asked my sister, my older sister, I asked um Sebi, Sebi Tennyson, if you didn't watch our episode of My iPhone Journey with Tennyson Sisters, now I'll watch it. Wow, watch it. But yeah, you know, and other people that have started have, you know, um, like whenever I, I went to an event and I saw like an older woman, like I had like almost the second question I asked her, like how I was wait, at first I was like, where do you work? And you know, she said, I are you work in IT? So how did you deal with it in your own time, man? <laughs> you know, like, I was that, yeah, you know, and I learned a co- I learned a couple of points too. So and I one thing I remember a lady saying was that you get better when you have more knowledge. It just, it just takes time for you to grow that confidence. But you have to keep trying, you know, keep putting yourself out there. Sometimes you feel, you dust yourself, you come back up again. I mean by feeling, sometimes, you know, that voice seems right, like you feel at something. That's not the end. It's, you are a work in progress. You get better. I always tell myself, if I don't get it now, I'll get better next time. So, Yeah. Those are all my points. People are irritated that you are new. Have you? You might want to press that subscribe button now. Share, share, share this thing. My God, you know it was nice. Uh, hanging out with y'all this Saturday morning. Please pray for me that this stove will come back and not burn this house down. You know, I can cook my food and eat in peace. Uh, but yeah, have a great rest of your day.